An important aspect of the eye exam in emergency situations is evaluating a patient's intraocular pressure through tonometry. This chapter will focus on the correct method of calibrating a portable electronic tonometer, applying anesthetic drops to the patient's eye, and the motion required to correctly use the portable tonometer. In the ED, tonometry is used to assess for conditions that cause increased intraocular pressure, such as acute angle glaucoma and diuritis. It may not be safe to perform tonometry in patients with a corneal defect as it may lead to further corneal injury. Tonometry should certainly not be performed in a patient with suspected penetrating ocular injury as it could further extrude intraocular contents. It's important to get all of your materials together. This includes gloves, the portable electronic tonometer, and the replacement tips. After opening the case and taking out the tonometer, you may see a tip already in place. Assume that it is not sterile. First, remove the tip and open a new one. Place the new tip on the tonometer. Roll the bottom down and remove the paper attached to the tip. Double click the calibrate button. After hearing two successive beeps, you should see the letters C-A-L. After a slight delay, you will hear another beep, accompanied by the text up. Point the tip of the pen upwards to complete the calibration. After a few seconds, you will hear another beep, accompanied with the words good or bad. If it was bad, repeat the calibration. Before using the tonometer, it is important to anesthetize the patient's eyes with topical anesthetics. One way to administer drops into the eyes is by having the patient tilt their head back while looking up. Gently hold the lower lid while you're applying one or two drops. Hold the tonometer between your thumb and your middle finger, leaving your index finger available to press the button. Push the black button to activate the tonometer. A double dashed line indicates that the device is ready to take measurements. Do not jab the patient's eye with a tonometer using your elbow. That's too much force. Instead, you will want to use your wrist to take measurements using a gentle flicking motion. Have the patient visually focus on a stationary target like your ear. Without pressing on the eyeball, gently lift up the upper eyelid Brace your fifth finger or heel of your hand on the patient's cheek for stability. Remember to take measurements by touching the probe tip to the cornea using the lightest and briefest pressure that will obtain a reading. Repeat this several times as you will hear some smaller clicks before a louder beep. This louder beep indicates that the tonometer has taken enough measurements to average into a final reading.